What is up guys? Hey, today I want to retouch on a topic that is very popular and I know a lot of you are a big fan of this. This guy. Yeah, I know I just did a video like experiment, but there's so much stuff you can do with this. It's really, it's pretty amazing. I'm gonna be honest with you. In that most popular video, a lot of you guys had the exact same questions that a lot of you asked over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And I answered most of them, but then it got to the point where like, if you just scrolled this much, you'd find the answer. Cause literally people have asked that a hundred times. But the good news is I'm gonna answer every single one of those questions today in this video right here. You're gonna be like a Dawn dish soap wizard master geniusy person. So let's get started. Okay, hang on. I was, uh, I was, hold on. hold on. I was just prepping these tumblers, getting ready for the video, but then I sprayed this one, and oh my gosh, look at that. It's so beautiful, and it's so satisfying. Like, I didn't want you to miss out. It's got like one, two, three, four, five, six colors. I've never done it this way. I've always done like diagonal candy cane looking stripes or like, like dots of random colors, but Sick. Get your respirator, come on, and I'll show you these getting painted, let's go. Man, wasn't that nice? I had to show you that. You could not, I could not let you miss out on that because it's, oh, you're welcome. Before we get started with our actual experiment, I'm gonna answer a lot of these questions that you guys had over and over in this video right here. The very first and most asked question is, you probably already know, how long do you have to wait before you rinse it off. You know, you got your base coat down, uh, you drizzle dizzle the Dawn, and then you spray it black immediately. And literally, you, you spin it when you're done and, you, and you're walking to where you rinse it off or dip it in the bucket or the hose, I don't know, you, you do you. But literally, the time it takes you to do that, it's time to wash it off. So I'd say at the max, 60 seconds. But we found out in the last video, I let them mugs spin for 10 minutes. It didn't really change that much because it was moving constantly. Now, if you just sat there and hold it, of course it would all run off. But if you're moving it and spinning it, like the five minute one looked fantastic. Do you remember that on this video right here? And by the way, these videos that I'm mentioning, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna put a card up to click on. I just put a picture so you know what it looks like because I don't want you to click on the card. I want you to stay on this video. And if you click on the card and go watch the other video, it confuses the crap out of YouTube and it messes up the algorithm because they think, oh, well, this video is no good. They clicked off of it. So after the video, I'll have a link in the description to each of these videos that I'm mentioning. Speaking of description, I've, it's come to my realization. It's really weird. Uh, YouTube has changed on mobile how to get to the description. You, so you just scroll right under the video and there it was. Well now, if you look over here on this side, there's a little arrow that points down like this. It's like a little V shape. You click that and it drops down, boom, there's your description. They made it a little difficult to find, probably because people were clicking links and getting off the YouTube platform and YouTube doesn't like that. It was news to me, I found out. So I know a lot of you watching have no idea either. So I feel like I should share that with you just so you know. Cause I say, you know, and you see it in a bunch of videos, link in the description, link, you know, where the crap is the description? I don't know, I can't find it anymore. So that's where it is, okay. The next question we're gonna cover when we do our experiment because I purposely found 
the cheapest and the different colors because some, I won't say somebody, but a, a lot of somebody's ask, does it have to be blue? Uh, no, it doesn't matter what color your soap is. It doesn't, it doesn't even color on your tumbler. So yeah, color of the soap doesn't matter at all. But that brings me to my next question. Does it have to be black? No. If you watched all of that first video, uh, matter of fact, the Lisa Frank style one was actually blue and purple fade, I believe it was. And that blue and the purple were both gloss. Uh, just because you can't find every color in matte. Matte is ideal because matte dries so much faster. So if you're doing gloss, just give it a few more minutes, another minute or two, 60 seconds, 90, you know, and then wash it off and you'll be fine. Another question real quick. Uh, I'm just barely going to glance over it because it's really self-explanatory. Uh, does your base coat need to be dry? Um, yeah, completely dry and then do it and wash off. Usually before you do the next step on anything, the previous thing has to be completely dry. So one more question before I get into the final question, which is sitting right here in front of us. Can I use clear coat only like to seal it, do I have to epoxy? On these, I would say yes, because this is functional art. Uh, you're using it, epoxy is super durable, but you could do like I used to do. I used to use automotive clear coat. Now I know that sounds scary, like, oh, car paint, oh, I'm gonna drink out of it. But literally think about it. If you're outside and you licked your car or you drank some water that run off, it might be dirty, it's not gonna hurt you. I feel like you're pretty safe to lick or drink off of a car or even eat if you, if you want to. I don't know your life. Don't you ever tell me how to live my life again. And now for the question you've all been waiting for. Do you have to use the expensive Elite Dong or can you get away with the cheapest of the cheap of cheapers? Cheap, cheap, cheapest stuff. I don't know. That's why we're doing this video. So let's do it, find out, and then all your worries and mysteries will be solved. Let's go. All right, to start with, we're gonna start with Old Faithful. Good old Dawn. Everybody knows and loves Dawn. My technique is, uh, I'm gonna go like a regular zigzag all the way around, a little bit on the bottom, and then I'm, my idea is to do, try to do each of them exactly the same you know, as far as coverage wise and all, to, so they all have a fair shot in the contest. Comment below which one you think will do better if you think they'll be different or the same. Maybe the cheap one's runny. That's my only thought. Like maybe the cheap one's really runny. So, you know, I don't know. We're gonna grab the old Dawn. We're just gonna start going. I'm gonna make a mess on my table, but uh, I don't care. I will clean up. It'll smell good too. Mm, yeah, that smells really good. All right, here we go. Drizzle dizzle my tongue blizzle. So just straight up zigzags. Do as much as you want, as little as you want. You know, personal preference. You gotta let it breathe. I think maybe the smaller bottles work better because uh, this mug is having trouble breathing. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost, oh you gosh. That was, a, that was quite a glob. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit on the bottom. Boom, that's good, I'm done. So right now, I'm twisting. See how I'm doing? And I'm literally gonna walk to wash this off as soon as I get there. Holy crap, where's my black? Oh, shoot. I forgot my black. It's all the way over there. I had it put up. I'm like, hey, let's just put some dawn on it and wash it off and see what happens. What do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna wash off. You gotta spray it. Duh. I'm still twisting. It'll still work. Cause you know what Dawn does anyway. This is not the test for Dawn. It's just to see if the other guys work well. You should wear a mask, by the way. Uh, I forgot. And it's all the way over there. And my hands are full. Just hold your breath. That is not a safety tip at all. That looks fantastic. I love the Dawn. Jeez, it's so beautiful. I wish it would stay like that because it's literally got like a little speckly look. All right, let's go wash it off. Literally, I'm going to wash it off right now. All right, now we're going to go with the dollar store brand. And the dollar store brand was the middle of the road. Uh, I don't know if I told you the prices, but the cheap cheap was roughly five cent an ounce. This stuff is 10 cent an ounce. And the Dawn is 
15 cent ounce. So literally the Dawn is three times more expensive than the cheapest cheap stuff. So like three times, spend three times more money to waste on your table. Why not? I'm just kidding. Well, this is why we're doing this. So literally if the cheap stuff works, you can just save your money. Sorry, Dawn. I still love you. Middle of the road. We're going to do the same thing. Try to do the same process. I've actually got my black. Like what? The, what was I thinking? I don't know. But anyway, so we're going to try to do the same sort style pattern. I don't know. Something similar. Ooh, it flows kind of nicely. Oh, I'm liking this. This is feeling good. Okay. I think it's because it's a smaller bottle. The Dawn. Oh, that was a glob. Ooh. Talked you up and then you messed up, didn't you? All right. That looks pretty good. Uh, kind of globby there. But literally, that's it. Now I'm gonna spray it and we'll see how it goes. Keep, while you're doing, while you're shaking, just keep consciously turning this. Keep a good hold on it, don't, don't drop it. Get the bottom, spin, and let's go wash off. Literally, by the time I get there, we'll be washing. All right, for the final, the cheapest of the cheapest cheap, Ajax. And literally, I feel like the Ajax is a name brand. I thought it was good stuff, but it's literally the cheapest you can get. So we're gonna try to do the same pattern. Give it a little woody do of stuff. And spin it, try to make it as consistent with other guys or gals, I don't know. Bro, you are gulping, bro. Wow, that was a lot. Cover one here. Do, do, do. This one does not seem to flow as nicely. It runs. Look at that run. It's moving. <whistles> yeah. Well, this one is a little thinner. I feel like it still can work, though. That's all I'm doing on this one. Keep spinning. And get your... Yeah, it is running. You are really going to be moving on this one. All right, let's spray and get out of here. Okay, I don't know if you can see it on the camera because I feel like I was too low. And I can't really see this way because uh, the light's over there for filming. All right, let's go. That's it. We're done. And literally from here, you cannot tell the cheap from the expensive to the untrained eye. But if you look closely, take a pan by here and you'll see that this guy here was actually, as I suspected, a little runnier, has a little drippage going on, but really, if you knew that and you could do that and make it work for the design and just sit it and let it run a little bit, I feel like that might be something really sick to try. Speaking of trying stuff, uh, you guys from the last video, the, no, how many is it? Five, one, no, one, five, ten. Ten. One, five, ten, thank you, camera lady. <laughs> the one minute, five minute, ten minute video had tons of really good suggestions. And if you want me to, to do some of those suggestions, I'll do it again. Like we cannot get enough of this Dawn dish soap stuff. It's so much fun. There's so many things you can do and try and experiment. I'm having so much fun. But if you haven't seen that video, check out that video right here when it pops up at the end. I think these are really great. Now my favorite is probably the middle of the road one. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's super clean. It's cheaper, which who doesn't like that? This guy, it works. You gotta be quick. It's a little bit too runny for me personally, but if that's all you got to work with, I say go for it. And of course, Dawn, super clean, crisp. You can't beat the Dawn, I don't know. It's, it's this good one. And I've got a couple more videos lined up. And if you haven't, like I said, seen the 1510, if you haven't seen it, go watch out right now and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> we might have to do two or three takes on this. Yeah. Are you recording? All right, I'm recording. All right. Try not to get some of that grill and look your noise in there. <laughs> all right, so, all right, you ready? So, give me a countdown. Three, two, one, lights, camera, action. All right, so. In that uh, most popular video, <clears throat> start over.